Good morning, children. Pastor E here. Are you ready for today's video lesson? Remember to sit, sit up straight. Do it. Open your eyes. Stand your ears. For today's story. Now, in our previous video lesson, the story of Abraham's family continued with the story of Joseph. From Joseph's story, we learn that even in hard times, God's promise continued with Joseph. And so, even when we face hard times now, we know that God is with me, that God is in control, and that God is good. And so, with the story of Joseph, we have come to the end of the book of Genesis. Are you ready to open the next biblical book of the Bible? Yes, we now come to the second book of the Old Testament called Exodus. Exodus tells of God's wonderful and powerful works and the beginnings of God's people, Israel, and how God's promises continues with them. Are you ready? The title of today's story is God to the Rescue. God to the Rescue. The story is taken from Exodus chapters 1 to 4. Now our story in Genesis ends with Joseph bringing his father Jacob and his whole family to the land of Egypt and staying there. Years passed and Joseph and his brothers soon grew old and died. But their children's children continued to stay in Egypt. Even in Egypt, do you think God's promise to Abraham to make him into a great nation continued to happen? Yes, God continued to be with Abraham, Isaac and Jacob's descendants and they grew to become a very big and strong family. They became known as the nation of Israel, which was the name that God gave to Jacob. Now a new king began to rule over Egypt, a pharaoh that did not know Joseph. He saw how God's people is growing and he did not like it. And so, he made God's people into his slaves and made them work very hard for him. So God's people cried out to God for help. They cried to God to rescue them from slavery. And God heard their cries. Will God do something to save his people? Or will God do nothing at all? Yes, God is about to do something to save his people. God saw his people suffering and God remembered his promise, his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac and with Jacob. And God is about to do something powerful to save his people from the hands of Pharaoh. But just like how God blesses the nations through Abraham's family, God is going to perform his almighty works through another important man of the Bible. And his name is Moses. Moses had many interesting things happen to him when he was younger. Moses was born in Egypt and was part of God's people. Back then, when Pharaoh was trying to kill all the male babies of Israel, Moses' very brave and smart mother placed Moses in a basket to save his life. Moses was then picked up by the Egyptian princess and grew up in Egypt. God protected Moses and Moses, an Israelite, grew up in Pharaoh's court. But one day, Moses struck down an Egyptian who was beating one of God's people. And because of what he had done, Pharaoh wanted to kill him. So Moses ran away out of Egypt and ended up 
with the family of Jethro in Midian. And here is where our story continues. One day, Moses was looking after sheep and God appeared to him from a burning bush. Moses looked at the bush and behold, the bush was burning but the leaves were not burning up. How curious and strange! Moses, Moses. God called for the bush. Moses said, Here I am. Then God said, Do not come near. Take off your sandals for the place on which you are standing is holy ground. I am the God of your father, God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. I have seen my people suffer in Egypt and have heard their cry. I have come down to rescue them and to bring them out of Egypt to a promised land. Come, I will send you to Pharaoh and you will bring my people out of Egypt. When Moses heard that, he was afraid. He escaped from Egypt years ago and now God is calling him to go back. Moses replied, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh? What shall I say to the people of Israel if they ask me, From whom am I sent from? God then said to Moses, I am who I am. Say this to the people of Israel, the Lord the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. God then told Moses, I know that Pharaoh will not let you go, so I will stretch out my hand and strike Egypt with all the wonders that I will do. And after that, he will let you go. After that, Moses was still afraid and unsure. So God said, I will be with you, so go. I will be with your mouth and teach you what you shall speak. So finally, Moses agreed to go back to Egypt with the company and help of his brother Aaron. And with the blessings of Jethro, Moses left Midian and went back to the land of Egypt with the staff of God in his hand. And this starts God's mission to save his people from Pharaoh, a story that we will continue next. And so, what can we learn today? We learn that God's promises continued in Abraham's family, right into Egypt where God's people became the big community, becoming a nation called Israel. And when God's people became slaves and cried to God for help, God heard His people's cry for help and remembered His promise with Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. God heard His people's cry for help and remembered His promise. God came to rescue His people. God came to rescue His people. God is faithful and God hears whenever His people needs help. And that is true for us today. Whenever we are in need, whenever we face difficulty and problems, we can always call on to God for help and be sure that God hears us when we call Him. Like God's promise to Moses, God also promises to be with us today. And so, we learn that God hears us when we call for help. God remembers His promise to be with us. God hears us when we call for help. God remembers His promise to be with us. Today's Bible verse is from Exodus chapter 2, verse 24. God heard their cries and God remembered His covenant with Abraham, with Isaac and with Jacob. Let us read this again. God heard their cries and God remembered His covenant with Abraham, with Isaac and with Jacob. 
we can be sure that God remembers His promise, and God hears us whenever we call for Him. Do you like today's story? Let us close with a prayer. Put your hands together. Close your eyes. Let us pray and can repeat after me. Dear God, we thank you for your word. You are our faithful God, and your promises last forever. Teach me to trust in you and to know that you hear me when I call for help. Thank you for being with us always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That's all for today's story. Until next time, see you. Bye-bye.